Um, I mean, we're good. We're, uh, we're, we've moved on as a team from last game. Um, and you guys got to understand, me and Coach Biennemi have a very close relationship. Um, I love him. He, he's helped me out tremendously as a person, as a professional. And uh, I'm sure he'll keep doing that throughout the rest of my career. Um, and just what happened on the on the sideline. I mean, sometimes football, you get a little heated with your brothers or, or your coaches. And, um, you know, sometimes you just got to rally the family together and, and let everybody know we're in the we're in this together to, you know, win a game. And, uh, and sure enough, we were able to bring it together there. And uh, I mean, you guys saw me hug him afterwards. I mean, I love that guy and, it, and that'll never change. And I appreciate him always being on my tail to get me going. Travis, what are the things that you can see from your teammates as you've been around long enough to know that they've put the loss behind them when you're getting ready for the next game, that there's no sort of hangover? What are the, the small things that you can see as far as how the guys are practicing and going through meetings? Um, I mean, just focus. I mean, you could feel the the the, the building was kind of drained yesterday. That means everybody cares. And that, that's, all it, that's all it is. We just got to light a torch, uh, get a little angry, and, 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 and attack the next game with more aggression uh, and more purpose than we did the last one. With Sammy and, and Tyreek out, how much extra attention do you feel like your, the other team's been to? The last game, uh, none, really. I mean, they, uh, they just played us in pure man coverage and uh, said beat us, and, and we didn't. Uh, and that, that, that goes on myself, goes on all the other route runners, and, and it goes on the, really the... the the front five to be able to stop whatever they're doing up front so that we got enough time to, to open that up. So, I mean, it was just overall, we just couldn't click last last week. Uh, shout out to to their defense for being ready for that. I mean, there's a heck of a team, team win for, for Indiana or Indianapolis. And, um, you know, this week we're, we're attacking it with a whole different mentality. How much of the one-on-one man-to-man -on -one -man coverage comes down to just physicality in some ways where they obviously want to get you off a time in order spot. And how have you tried to adjust to that when it seems like the officials can kind of make one side appear to be more physical than the other? Um, I think uh, I think coaches hit it. Uh, the, everybody views, you know, holding and man-to-man -man coverage a little bit different in terms of the refs. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you, you got to just feel that out throughout a game because you want to be physical at the point of attack, but you don't want to get to the point where you're, you're – I don't know, getting a flag thrown on you like I like I did in that game. So it's just uh, trying to find that happy medium uh, and still being aggressive and still running your route to win. Trev, you mentioned a new mentality this week. Just what, what goes into, what were you guys thinking? What's a little bit different maybe than last week in preparation? Uh, just the aggression. I mean, we know what we're going to get. Uh, they slowed us down last week with with man-to-man -man coverage, so we know we're going to get uh, quite a bit of man this week, at least we would assume. Uh, so we just got to be ready for it. Because Wisniewski, new offense. Have you spent any time around him with your brother? Or just, do you have any kind of relationship? Uh, heard a few, heard a few good stories mm -hmm. on him. Uh, but then again, my brother has a good story on just about anybody. Uh, it's just, uh, it's good to see someone who who's who comes in who already has a pretty good idea of what this offense is about uh, and where we're trying to go with it. Travis, it's the first time in a couple of years you guys have lost a game where the offense didn't score a bunch. You had a couple of shootouts last year. Does that feel different for you guys as an offensive group that that you feel like? You, you didn't score 35. Yeah, it's disappointing for sure. I mean, we know what this offense is capable of. And um, I think uh, it's a lot of it is, is on us. I mean, the penalties, you, you can't go forward when you're, when you're kicking yourself going backwards, man. It's, uh, and those are, those are tough uh, things to overcome. So, I mean, the penalty, clean, up, clean up the penalties uh, and from there uh, make plays when the ball's in the air, uh, no matter what the coverage is. Travis, you said you expect man this upcoming week. But last week, I mean, the Colts play a lot of zone. Were you expecting them? No. Plays no, but uh, about after the first quarter, we knew what we uh, we had in front of us. And um, and we just got to attack. Got to be ready for it. How does that change the strategy? You see, oh, they're playing more man than we expected to be kind of playing on the zone. What what changes for you guys in that moment? Um, I feel like the the mentality has to change. And that's that might not have been what happened out on the field. Uh, just the the mentality of coming off the ball and, and attacking, putting them in a reactionary position, uh, being the defense, instead of kind of letting them dictate what we're doing. You seem you know, non-verbal, not even to do with the enemy moment, but you just seem a little bit especially frustrated this past game. Just where, where was that in as far as frustrating games, maybe in like the course of your long career? Um, I haven't felt like that in a, in a while, and uh, that, that's definitely something that I've been thinking about a lot, uh, just how to handle a lot of those situations looking back. Uh, seeing how I connected the dots after uh, maybe a frustrating play and how to 
kind of hone that in and, uh, and, and be able to attack on the next play with a clear, clear mind. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's football. It's not always going to go your way. So I just got to uh, maintain the level of focus and uh, the, level, the level of uh, excitement that I have for uh, the game. Travis, um, when you guys play Detroit, when, I know guys always try to shoot the ball. I mean, that's just football. But you noticed a more aggressive punching from Detroit. And it seems that defenders now are really going all out more than. Have you guys noticed that? Are you doing anything more in practice to prepare for that kind of strategy? Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think our defense does an unbelievable job at, at punch tackling. Um, it is definitely something that you can tell is taught in a lot of locker rooms or, or in a lot of defensive locker rooms. Um, and it's just a it's non-conscious effort to, to hold on to that ball. You know, every, that's the prize. So you got to hold on to that thing for your brothers. And um, sure enough, uh, it starts a practice. A couple so more, guys. With, with, with the emotion that can kind of spill out and put on camera, obviously that's what fancy on Sundays. But in a week-to-week -week basis, what about sort of that connection with EB allows you to go back to him so quickly after he came home? Um, I think it's just built over over the years of how much uh, we've come together as as almost uh, a brothers or a family. I mean, he's like a father figure in terms of uh, being there for me on the field. And uh, like I said, we're we're wired uh, a little bit the same uh, when it comes to our competitive edge. Um, and with that being said, uh, I've learned a lot from him and how he handles a lot of that stuff. So it's just uh, I, I think I just um, you know. I'll just leave it at that. I, it, it's it's something that immediately I I, I felt uh, I, I immediately I regretted, and I just wanted to make it make it good and let them know that you know what I'm I'm ready to rock and roll for you. What, what did he say, Travis? That kind of got. I'm not I'm not going to get into all that. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Tyreek has been working a little bit at work again today. How much uh, he's anxious? He wants to get out there. I mean, how what's he what's he been like around the locker room about wanting to get back out there? And help Full out? of energy, man. The guy's full of energy. Uh, during the game, he's trying to he's he's hyping everybody up, trying to keep everybody focused and moving forward and positive thoughts. And uh, and you know we love him for it. I mean, even when he's when he's not in the game, he's still making an impact as a leader on the sideline, and that's what you love about him. That's one, Karen. This is just totally weird. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you superstitious about the colored gloves you wear? I mean, you start sometimes with white, then you go to yellow, then you go to red, and sometimes you catch. More passes with yellow, and I just no. thought maybe you're really superstitious. I have nothing going for the color of gloves I wear. It's just sometimes my hand, my gloves get a little sweaty, kind of gets like a little sponge out there, and I just got to change them. 